Guys, we're going to work on a jello print today. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much made. You can make these yourself, but uh, on these jello prints, it's pretty much a layering process with paint and patterns and design. So, we're going to go through a real quick one for you to try to understand how to do these. And pretty much, you just want to start out with some acrylic on here. And you don't need a lot of paint. You know, just a little bit of color and use your briar, use your briar to roll this in. I'm going to put a little bit of color on here. Let's put a little, let's go a little yellow here. This is your basic first layer and you want to print two prints. One is your master and the other one would be considered a ghost, a ghost print. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in my jello print, my jello pad here. And I don't want to get rid of all the color in, in blending it into one. I want to keep those different shades of color and tints of color. And basically all you do is you got to kind of line it up with your paper every time and I'm not using a pencil but you kind of want to line up your pencil put a little pencil mark right there and you rub that and that creates a, your master print but then you want to do a ghost print over on this for a second later print All right, and that created a little bit of a lighter print for you. All right, so that will be your background color. Now, what I'm gonna do is put on another layer of color, and I'm gonna put some design in this after I put these colors on here that I like. And we're gonna go like a red and a blue, kind of get a little bit of a purple look to this. All right, I'm just going to bring the color together. Try not to blend out the color to make one value. Keep those different shades and tints in there. All right, now I'm going to do a little bit of a pattern on top of this. And all I'm going to do is create this little checkerboard looking pattern. All right. And I can take different tools, like a little uh, film container, create little designs in there. All right. I can take lids and create. And all I do is just twist them in there to create that little bit of a design. Maybe take a straw, some kind of a straw. Maybe throw a design maybe across here all right with a straw then we need to print this back on to here but if I would just take this and flip it down on there I would lose all my greens I need some type of a pattern so I'm going to take just this little pattern right here and I'm going to lay it on here now I'll take my two prints, all right, and print that color over top of it. And basically try to line this up again. And that's where the pencil marks come in handy. But this is just an example for you. And you rub that color in there. And you pretty much, pretty much get that kind of a design. Now, I'm going to go with one more pattern on here, and you'll see what I mean. All right. I might as well. I did that on my ghost. I might as well put this one to another on top of my original. You want to make sure you line these up, especially if you're going to end up framing them later. And you want to kind of rub this one because you took a lot of paint. 
with you on the first one. So that'll create a kind of a more of a ghosty look. And there's the two. You can tell that there was a ghost second print. Now, in between, I was taking a rag and I was just wiping off all the excess paint to get me a clean gel again. So my last pattern I'm going to be putting on here is just a string and just like a couple here. So I need one more set of colors, and this is where it really, you kind of want to watch what colors will be put on last. All right, and where I have that pattern, I'm going to have my background show through. So I'm just going to put a little black on here and a color maybe that I haven't used, and I kind of see a purple. Let's go with a little purple here. And you really don't want a lot of color on here on this last one. Now let's throw some white in there. A little bit of white. So put some white here. All right, get my briar and see what happens here. Got a little black on us. But we can always pull some of that off if we want, because that will cover up. Now I'm going to throw my pattern down here. Uh, do we want it this way? Yeah, let's go this way. Put our pattern there. Put it down. And I got a piece of string. I'm just going to create a little design maybe with this string here and print one of these here. I'm going to print here, line it back up. I can kind of see because of the reflection here. And now we'll have our third press here. See what happens. And it didn't come out too bad. All right. So I took the string off. I'm going to press this one in my ghost. I got that one on. And... Voila, I really like that one right there. Turned out really good on the ghost print. So that's pretty much a jello print process.